will still be patient with you. And I hope you know I won't let go. And I'll be your lifeline tonight. And I won't let go. And I'll be your lifeline tonight. Cause we all get lost sometimes, you know. How we learn and how we grow And I want to lay you till I'm old oh, oh, oh. Shouldn't be fighting on your own And if you feel you're sinking I would jump right over into the cold, cold water with you And all the time may take us into the I won't let go And I'll be your lifeline tonight And I won't let go And I'll be your lifeline tonight Slippers on my rock and roll I just wanna say I go I'm all gone And I hope I won't Someone come and take me home Somewhere can rest my soul Back and I feel the place 
to for us It's but sweet and sour How your family's doing okay You even get in the taxi Kissing the taxi Turn the drama Get away to your play That's in the right way You know I want your love Your love was handmade for somebody like me Come and now follow my lead I may be crazy Don't mind me Say what? Let's not talk too much Grab on my waist and put that body on me Come and now follow my lead now follow my lead I'm in love with the shape of you Push and pull like a magnet Although my heart is falling too I'm in love with your body Last night you were in my room And now my baby she's now like me Every day discovering something brand new I'm in love with your body Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow I'm in love with your body Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow oh, wow. oh, wow. I'm in love with your body Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow I'm in love with your body Every day we're covering something brand new I'm in love with the shape of you
yeah, I need you, I need you right now. Yeah, I need you right now. So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. You say come loose in my mind now. It's in my head, darling. I hope that you'll be here when I need you the most. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, down, down. Don't let me down, don't let me down, down, down. Random, out of time. I really thought you were on my side, but now there's nobody by my side. I need ya, I need ya, I need you right now. Yeah, I need you right now. So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. I think I'm losing my mind now. It's in my head, darling. I hope that you'll be here when I need you the most. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. No, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, down, down. Don't let me down, down, down. Don't let me down, down, down. Don't let me down, don't let me down, down, down. Ooh, I think I'm losing my mind now, yeah. Ooh, I think I'm losing my mind now, yeah. I need you, I need you right now Yeah, I need you right now So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down I think I'm losing my mind now It's in my head, darling I hope that you'll be here when I need you the most So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down I think I'm losing my mind now It's in my head, darling I hope that you'll be here when I need you the most Say don't let me down, don't let me down Don't let me down, down, down to life She was warm She came around She was dignified She showed me what it was to cry But you couldn't beat that girl I adore You don't seem to know Seem to care What my heart is for I don't know her anymore There is nothing where she used to lie But conversation has run dry That's what's going on And I can't stop, I'm torn I'm all out of faith This is how I feel I'm cold and I am shamed Bound and broken on the floor Illusions never change Into something real Wide awake and I can see the perfect sky is torn You're a little late I'm already torn And so I guess the fortune teller's right You should have seen just what was there And not some holy light 
crawl beneath my veins now I don't care, I have no luck I don't miss it all that much There's just so many things That I can't stop, I'm torn I'm all out of faith This is how I feel I'm cold and I am shamed I'm broken on the floor Illusions never change into something real I'm wide awake and I can see the perfect sky is torn You're a little late, I'm already torn There's nothing where she used to lie The conversation has run dry That's what's going on And I can't stop, I'm torn I'm all out of faith This is how I feel I'm cold and I am shamed Bad and broken on the floor Illusions never change Into something real I'm right awake and I can see The perfect sky is torn yeah. Yeah. You're a little late Fuck, hold on. Uh, you're. <laughs> should I? Um, you're a little late. This is how I feel. I'm cold and I am shamed. I'm broken on the floor. Illusions never change into something real. I'm wide awake and I can see the perfect sky is torn. Sorry for messing up so bad. Oh, I messed up so bad. It wasn't, it was amazing. Thank you very much, Jason. It takes a lot of confidence to get up here and do at least one of singing or playing an instrument. So to do both is fantastic. Now, a little change. We're going to start with our Thai dances. I appreciate that we're running slightly late at the moment, but thank you very much for your patience with us. So right now, I would like to invite up our year five and six Thai dancers. Watch me, nae, nae. Can you do it? Now watch me, ooh, watch yeah. me, watch me, ooh, watch yeah. me. 
watch me, watch me, ooh, watch me, watch me, ooh, okay, ooh, okay, ooh, watch me, watch me, ooh, watch me, watch me, you do, watch me, watch me, you do, okay, ooh, do the stank you leg, 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 now break your legs, break them. Break your legs, break the knob. Tell them break your legs, break them. Break your legs, break the knob. Don't break your legs, break them. Break your legs, break the knob. Don't break your legs, break them. Break your legs, break the knob. Now I me bop, 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 now watch me whip, hey. Now watch me nay nay, okay. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me nay nay, why me do it? Now watch me whip, kill it. Watch me nay nay, okay. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me nay nay, can you do it? Now watch me, ooh. Watch me, watch me, ooh. Watch me, watch me, ooh. Watch me, watch me, ooh. Okay, ooh, okay, ooh. Watch me, watch me, ooh. Watch me, watch me, ooh. Watch me, watch me, ooh. Okay, ooh. Now watch me do. Now I'm me Superman. Okay. Now I'm me yo. Now I'm me Superman. Okay. Now I'm me yo. Now I'm me Superman. Okay. Now I'm me yo. Now I'm me Superman. Okay. Now I'm me.
สวัสดีจ้าทุกท่านวันนี้เราเอาท่าทางในชีวิตประจำวันมาประยุกต์ให้เป็นท่าออกกำลังกายกันดีกว่าเอา้าย่ำเท้าจ้ารู้ไหมออกกำลังกายมันดียังไงมันจะช่วยเบิกทวารทั้งเจ็ดเบาหวานจะลดอดพื้นจะหายไปกรวยไตจะกลับมาใสสะอาดเลือดฝาดจะกลับมาหน้าจะเด้งเด้งเด้งสมองจะแล่นปรีท่แรกท่าโบกแท็กซี่เอายืนแขนออกมากันเร็วต่อจากนั้นก็โบกโบกโบกสะบัดแขนโบกโบกโบกซ้ายโบกโบกโบกขวาโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบกโบจับเจ้ารีดบิดเอวไปด้วยบิดบิดบิดเอวต้องบิดบิดบิดซ้ายบิดบิดบิดขวาบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดบิดลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาต่อไปถ้าปั่นเสือหมอบก้มตัวลงเตรียมปั่นยกขาชุนสูงปั่นปั่นปั่นสองขาปั่นปั่นปั่นซ้ายปั่นปั่นปั่นขวาปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นปั่นลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาลาขอขอบคุณทุกคนที่ร่วมกันบิดปั่นโบกในวันนี้ยังไงก็อย่าลืมไปบิดไปปั่นไปโบกกันต่อที่บ้านด้วยล่ะด้วยความปรารถนาดีจากทีย6่ส
Okay, so right now we've uh, finished a lot of our student performances. However, in a wonderful first for Bloomsbury, oh. <laughs> right, hello. let me introduce the angelic voices. Is our microphone? Our microphone's not of working. the Blooms guys. Hello. 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 Posh. Bye. Hello. Bye. Right. Spread out. Spread out. Yeah. Okay. Where's the intro? Working. Got this. Check one. <laughs> oh, quite there. Testing. Spot. One, two, three. What you really, really want? I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna stick a stick. Ah. If you want my future, forget my past. If you wanna get with me, better make it fast. Now don't go wasting my precious time. Get your act together, we could be just fine. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna take a sick ah. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friend. Make it last forever, friendship never ends. If you wanna be my lover, you have got to give. Taking it is too easy, but that's the way it is. Know what you think about that? Now you know how I feel. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna stick a stick. Ah. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friend. Make it last forever, friendship never ends. If you wanna be my lover, you have got to give. Thinking it's too easy, but that's the way it is. Let's hear one more big shout, uh, shout out for the Blooms girls. Woo! And of course, it wouldn't be any kind of Bloomsbury event without the male teachers singing. So, could I please Bring up to the stage, Mr. Line. Knight, Mr. Baby Allenson, Mr. Rowett. Is this thing on? Hello? Mr. Campbell. Yeah. 
and Mr. Miles. Give it up for the Blooms boys. สวัสดีครับ Jenny, do we have another mic? Mic, the mic. Slam your body down, and zig zig. Ah. Right up here, isn't it? Yo, yo. About all the things you used to do, and if you swear you had been fooled, I'm telling you, objection overruled. One for the money and the free ride is two for the lies that you denied. All rise, all rise. Three for the calls you've been making, it's four for the times you've been. Baking, all right, all right. Will you will? You're on the stand with your back against the wall. Nowhere to run, nobody you can call. Oh no! And I just can't wait. Now the case is open wide. You'll try to pray, and the jury will decide. Baby, I swear I tell the truth about all the things you used to do. And if you thought you had me fooled, I'm telling you, objection overruled. One for the money and the free rise is two for the lies that you denied. All rise, all rise. Three for the calls you've been making, it's four for the times you've been making. All rise, all rise. So step back, 'cause you don't know this cat. I know big damn that you don't want me to react. I lay low, keeping all my options open. The decision of the jury has not been spoken. Step in my house to find that this stuff is gone. But in reality, to whom does this stuff belong? I bring you into court just to preach my order, and you know that you overstepped the border. Uh huh. One for the money, and the free ride is two for the lies that you denied. All right, all right. Three for the calls you've been making, it's four for the times you've been making. All rise, all rise. One for the money and the free rise, it's two for the lies that you denied. All rise, all rise. Three for the calls you've been making, it's four for the times you've been making. All rise, all rise. One for the money and the free rise is two for the lies that you denied. All rise, all rise. Three for the cause you've been making, it's four for the times you've been making. All rise, all rise. But there's more. With video. Music turned up a little bit. I can only hear myself. Hello. My music. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. We've got a lovely video for you to watch as well. Everybody's looking for that something. One thing that makes it all complete. 
you find it in the strangest places Places you never knew it could be I'm finding it inside the I'm finding it in their lover's eyes So you can't deny the joy it brings When you found that special thing Flying without wings Some find it in shame Some find it in their solitary lives Some find it in the words of others <laughs> A simple line can make you laugh Oh, cry You'll find it in the deepest friendship The ones you cherish all your life And when you find that special thing You'll know how much it means I'm flying without wings So impossible To find for every dream, and who's to know which one you let go would have made it complete? Well, for me, it's waking up beside you, so watch the sunrise on your face. To know that I can say I love you In any given time or place It's the little things that only I Those are the things that make you mine Cause it's like flying with the I'm flying without wings And you will replace my life again And you'll be where it ends I'm flying without wings That's the joy you bring I'm flying without wings Yourself 
Um, can I just ask the staff to come down quickly to uh, start preparing for the awards, please? We'll make a start with the awards. Once again, thank you ever so much for sticking with us. I have a speech, however, I'm going to reduce it slightly. I'm sure everyone will be happy about that. Okay. Can we keep the... So... At the beginning of the year, I didn't really think that I'd be standing here in front of you, and certainly not as the head teacher. I actually never really saw myself taking any managerial role. I actually just wanted to be a teacher. And what teachers do is teach. I made the choice at about 16 years old to be a teacher, and I studied hard. I worked on the things I was supposed to know already but didn't, and I can promise you my very first grammar lesson was an absolute disaster. And I worked hard on the things that I was lucky enough to discover over the four years I had at university. And I realized I really love learning. Now looking back, I'm very, very lucky to have the career that I've had. Although sometimes I wonder about the choice of word career because it suggests to me that I had some kind of plan. But I guess that statement alone links very nicely to the key words of today's awards ceremony. And those are achievement and success. For those of you students here today, you too will have dreams of achieving your goals. Some of you will stand up here and be praised for the work that you've produced this year. And some of you, your time will come after all you'll spend a large proportion of your young lives in school. So I'd just like to give you a couple of pieces of advice. When you start school, you have very little idea about what's going on. Actually, that's quite a wonderful thing. It means you can enjoy those brief moments in life when you discover something you love for the first time. And one single lesson can begin the road to a life filled with adventure and success. Everything is possible, and life's little answers are there 
just on the verge. For me, it was finding books that helped me to really love learning. I lost myself in imaginative worlds, and I realized I loved the written word. This is what actually made me want to be a teacher of English. Although, obviously, like most young people, I had a phase where I wanted to be he-man, a footballer, a chef, and a writer. Although that's actually still possible. I don't think I'd look very good as a he-man. I learned so much from reading, and it doesn't matter what you read as long as you do that. I actually learned M-theory, which is a physics concept, just from reading a comic book. Another thing to remember is that before every success, before you achieve everything, there will be failure. But failure can be a good thing if you learn from it. No one, not even me, knows everything. No one can get things right first time. No one can get everything right all of the time. Sometimes you need that little reminder to work a little bit harder, to do a little bit more research, to spend that little bit more time on homework. And that's when you achieve closer, uh, sorry, when you move closer to achieving success. The last point I'd like to make before obviously we all get too tired is to tell you to ask questions. Questions lead to answers. And that's the biggest success to, uh, secret to success. Having answers helps you unlock more questions, unlock more knowledge, and it's the key to everything. No question is too small, too pointless, too unacademic. That question, if you asked it, means something to you. And we here at Bloomsbury International School, Hat Yai, recognize that. We will never belittle you for wanting to know more, because that's what we're here for, to help you to learn, to achieve, and to succeed. So let's get on with the ceremony and hand out these wonderful achievements and celebrate the success that we've had this academic year. I'd like to invite, firstly, Mr. McLeod to hand out this year's English Award. And this year, for all her hard work, and she truly has improved tremendously, the English Award goes to Dora. Come on up, Dora. Next up, I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Campbell. Uh, and he deserves a really large uh, applause because he'll be leaving us, unfortunately, this year. And he'll be handing out the Maths Award. If he can find it. <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> now, when Mr. Campbell was telling me about who should get this award, uh, he said this person is absolutely incredible at maths uh, and truly deserved it. If they were sitting an even harder paper, they would still do fantastically well. So the maths award for this year goes to Ying. <laughs> is she here? Okay. <laughs> and next goes science. Now, obviously, there's, there's a lot of things that you need to know with science. Uh, and this student who won it, who will be presented their trophy and certificate by Miss Evans, um, 
they've had an exceptionally successful year. I actually remember uh, sitting with them and um, working on a, a science test earlier in the year before Miss Evans joined us. And I was quite impressed that someone could achieve so much so easily. Um, they've worked exceptionally hard, got a really, really good head on their shoulders. And so I would like to invite Gurr to come up and collect the Science Award. Perfect timing. Now, I've just been informed that uh, Ying has uh, been able to join us, so uh, can I re-invite Mr. Campbell and Ying up, please, so that she can collect the Maths Award. Next up is the Art Award. And obviously, we are very lucky to have Mr. Knight as our art teacher, as you can see from the wonderful creative programs that we have on offer and that you've seen today. Now, Mr. Knight is very critical of artwork. He expects the very, very best. And so you know when he gives an award for art, this person truly has talent. So I would like to ask Hameen to come up, please, and collect this year's Art Award. Well done. And we move on to business studies. Now, business studies will be handed over to, uh, by Mr. Allenson. Unfortunately, we can only choose students from year 10 and 11 here. Mr. Allenson's been exceptionally impressed with this individual. They try hard. They clearly love their business studies. And I've actually seen many times the work being completed while well, my lessons should be being done. But uh, right now we celebrate the great achievements and wonderful efforts of Jason. And now on to the Chinese Award. The winner of this award has had a bit of a, a, a difficult year. They've unfortunately been left on their own in their Chinese class. I think I've already given away who's the winner. But they have worked exceptionally hard. And we are looking forward to the very, very highest result at IGCSE from this individual. So I'd like to invite Damon to come and collect from Mr. Strubelt. <laughs> and 
And next, we come to humanities. Now, that title is an interesting one because actually, when I told the staff about giving this award, I pointed out that there are a lot of humanities subjects in core, in primary. And actually, the one person who stood out the most and has worked tirelessly with enthusiasm in all their humanities subjects, in all their core lessons, and they will receive the trophy from Mr. Windsor, is Yu Yu. Miss Williams could not tell me enough about all the wonderful work that you had produced during her core lessons, and she fully deserves it. Well done. <laughs> Next up, ICT. This person was voted for by our resident ICT teacher, Mr. De La Cruz, and he said he was thoroughly impressed by all the hard work that this student always put into their work and their knowledge. And therefore, I would like to ask Ariana to come up and collect this year's ICT award. I think Ariana was actually involved in more than anyone else today with all her performances as well. So a huge round of applause for her. Well done. Music now. As I said at the very beginning, we are very lucky to have such a wonderful array of talent. And I know that Mr. Miles found it very, very difficult to choose the many individuals that we have. And you will have seen here today just how good some of our musicians are. This year's award for music doesn't go to Bloom's Boys, no. Uh, goes to Jin Yan. We've been very lucky over the last years to have Jin Yan actually support a number of musical numbers at the school. This time last year, she was actually playing piano at the beginning and the end of the ceremony. But we thought after all the performances she'd done today, she deserved a bit of a break. <laughs> Next up, P.E. Now, maybe this choice, after what you've seen here today, seems fairly obvious. Because the individual that this award goes to truly showed off their PE skills today. I think some of you may have guessed already. Someone winning a second award. Please, can we have Ariana again? So she even runs up here. That's how much she likes her PE. <laughs> and next, our Thai Language Award. Do we have our Thai teachers to be able to present this? Anyone? Thank you, Krunuk. 
It was very difficult to choose someone to award the Thai language certificate and trophy to. Partly because there are so many, again, wonderful speakers and writers, listeners and readers in Thai. But when we actually looked at the, uh, the, the candidates, there was one person who stood out. I'd like to invite Ng to come and collect this year's Thai Language Award. So that's the end of our subject awards. However, you can see we still have a number of trophies left to get through. I'd like to invite Miss Epperson right now to hand out this year's English Writing Award. As an English teacher, writing means a lot to me. The written word is so important for communication. And this person has found that out and has improved immensely. And when Miss Epperson explained to me why she chose this person in her class to which she re uh, receive this award, it was fairly obvious why. So I'd like to invite Tor Fun up to collect this year's English Writing Award. Next up, I'd like to ask Mr. Strubelt, please, to hand the English speaking trophy out. Now, this award actually goes back a few months to a house competition that we had. It was a speech giving competition, and this person stood out. They were bold, they were confident, they were brilliant. They got their points across. And all us judges on that day were immensely impressed. The winner this year of the English Speaking Award is Michelle. I won't make you do a speech. Well done. The next award, I'd actually like Krunuk to, uh, to hand out again, please. This is the School Spirit Award. And this person truly sums up the kind of person that stands out in Bloomsbury. This person has been here since I came and shows all the effort, gets involved in everything, and is just generally such a lovely student. That's not to say that obviously all our students aren't lovely, but this student really gets involved in the kinds of things that will take place here in school. There were at least half the staff voting for this individual. So I'd like to invite to receive the School Spirit Award, Chok Yao. Chok Yao truly embodies the kind of student that we wish to continue to flourish here at Bloomsbury. Well done. Next up, I'd like to ask Mr. Windsor to hand out the Young Leader Award.
There are a number of people who were voted for here. We're very lucky. One of the parts of our, uh, our vision and our mission is to ensure that our students learn how to become leaders. But this person has taken charge. This person is already a leader. And we're very lucky to have them as our head boy. <laughs> he's already worked out that he's the winner. Come on up, Max. The next award will be handed out by Miss Reed. And it's the Individual House Point Award. This person has received more house points throughout the year than anyone else. That tells me that they have effort, achievement, and that they are doing wonderfully well. This person I remember teaching earlier in the year and was always a bright light, always smiled. So can I please invite Petch up to collect this year's Individual House Points Award for getting more house points than anyone else. <laughs> And trust me, if you knew how many house points Miss Epperson gives out, you'll be impressed with how many points Petch has got. Well done, mate. <laughs> okay. And finally, we come on to our main awards. I'd like to invite Ms. Greco up to hand out this year's pre-primary slash nursery award. When I asked Ms. Greco when she, why she would choose this person, she mentioned that this person had improved massively. That this person really enjoyed learning took part, and always tried to do it with a smile on their face. So I'd like to ask Petrung to please come on up and collect this year's Nursery Award. This award is for a student in the pre-primary class. So a big round of applause, please, to Petrung. Thank you. Next up, primary, which will be handed out by Mr. Roak, our primary coordinator. Now, actually, it's very difficult to choose students in primary because, of course, there are so many, and there are so many classes. But this student was voted for by more people than anyone else, showing just exactly what we think of her. She truly is a bright individual. I have seen firsthand her maths and her English and her thirst for knowledge and her hard work. So I'd like to invite Pauline up to collect this year's Primary Student of the Year. Now, as I said, I have actually had the pleasure of teaching Pauline, and she truly has a remarkable talent. 
for a number of different areas. A big round of applause, please, for our student of the year in primary, Pauline. Well done. And next up, can I ask Mr. Windsor, please, in my stead, to hand out this year's secondary student of the year. It's just there, sir. I'll give it away straight away if I say that this student has already won an award tonight. But there were just too many teachers telling me just how good this individual was. She's actually only been at the school this year. But she really has impressed us. I have seen B grades in science, English, maths, She's talked highly about in humanities. She's wagging her finger at the moment as if, no, I'm not going to get it. Could I invite, please, Ying up to collect the Secondary (laughs) Student of the Year Award? As I said, she truly has impressed all of her teachers. She works hard. She always wants to work harder, and sometimes we have to stop her. But she really has an impressive skill set and will go very, very far in life. Well done. Next up is our most improved student, which will be handed out by Miss Williams. I keep on saying that I've taught these students, but I have actually taught everyone in the school. This student truly has improved, in particular with their English. Their efforts have never been in question. But the kind of work now being produced in a class where, up until recently, he was the only boy, which can sometimes be a little bit difficult. Our most improved student is Porsche. And I think he's very happy with that. I'd now like to invite our honored guest, Kunta Vaughan, to come and hand out this year's Student of the Year Award. This student, well, what can I say? Every time I talk to them and I listen to the kinds of things that they say, I'm impressed. Sometimes they ask questions that I have to go away and look up the answers. As I said earlier, I don't know everything. They always do everything with a smile on their face. They're academic but they also show skills in other areas. Every single teacher who has met this student has commented just how impressed they are. This year's Student of the Year, Mono.
A big round of applause to our Student of the Year. Would someone kindly pass me the uh, Head Teacher's Award? I wasn't prepared for a stage. Okay. I have a little speech. Again, I may well cut it down very slightly, but it is short. And it's for the student winner of the Head Teacher's Award. The first time I met our award winner, she was sat in my classroom, shyly looking around the room as the rest of my form group trundled in. This shyness came to define her, at least for a while. But there was always potential. We would talk about some things, some literary, some nothing at all to do with academics. There was always a sense that lots of things were sinking in. In a class full of wonderful students, and each member of year 11 is that. It would be easy to look for the obvious, but to ignore the contributions and efforts of this rough diamond would be a mistake. This year has been a year garnered with success for our award winner. Their coursework across four different subjects would put many first language users to shame. They have a determination to succeed, a kindness of heart, an honest character, and a willingness to ask for advice and be guided with anyone that will help them achieve their goals. In fact, this young lady has shown everyone how to go about things and how to be a role model. She is without doubt a fantastic artist. I'll probably give it away now. A keen lover of anime. And I know that from all the discussions we had during your IGCSE uh, speaking and listening. And I hope that the lessons she's been taught in Mr. Knight's class are not wasted because she truly has so much talent. I'm sure she's probably realized now I'm talking about her. So I'd like to ask to the stage, please, Yang, to collect this year's Head Teachers Award. Has she gone? <laughs> I'll have to read her the speech on Tuesday then. Okay. Now I would just briefly like to pass over to Mr. Rowick just to share with us the winners this year of the house competition. Good afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed today's festivities. Thanks, Mr. Knight, for all your hard work and Mr. Miles. So the first prize we're going to give away today is the House Points Cup. This goes to the house at school, either Einstein, Turner, Nightingale, or Newton, who managed to, over the course of three terms, win the most house points. All right, JJ. Hello, am I? And this year's House Points Cup winners are Einstein. Well done, Einstein. Can we have the Einstein house captains and staff, apparently? Well done on winning so many house points. Mr. Knight got about three house points all year. <laughs> Team Blue Belt. And 
for our last prize for this afternoon, before I hand back over to Mr. Simpson, we have our Sports Day trophy. This year was our first Sports Day that we've held outside of school. We went to PSU and everybody competed in track and field events. I hope everybody enjoyed themselves and it was a very close event with two houses going into the final hour, very level on points, almost level on points. But one team has to win it, one house has to win it. And in 2017, that house was Einstein again. Well done, Einstein. Can I get the house captains of Einstein back up on stage to receive their trophy? Which is why I told you not to go very far, wasn't it? Don't go very far and walk all the way to the back of the hall, didn't you? He couldn't hear me because I had a microphone. Okay, that is the end of our awards ceremony. In fact, unfortunately, it's the end of our Blooms Fest today. Thank you ever so much, all of you, for attending, for waiting that little bit extra this afternoon. And can I ask everyone, please, to give a huge round of applause to all our performers, all our staff who helped today, and everyone who has supported this event. And can I ask, please, for a special round of applause for the gentleman who worked tirelessly to make it happen, Mr. Knight. Uh, thank you very much for all the teachers that have helped me with all the performances. Uh, thank you to Ross for setting up all that music. Thanks Jess, Miss Eberson, Miss Williams and everyone else that's contributed to this and anyone who's helped today. Um, you'll be glad to go, know that you can all go home now. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been a lovely audience. Safe journey home and a lovely rest of your weekend. Thank you. <laughs>